Hello everyone, Michael here. Today is Friday, May 13th, 2022, and this is your weekly update. So first, a little quick note to all my Patreon members. I did ship out all of the signed paperback copies of Pray No More to everybody that is in the Lance Brody tier. So if you have not received your copy of the book, please shoot me a message on Patreon so I can check the tracking and see where your book is. Now for the update on the new book that I'm working on, I'm still making really good progress actually. I just this morning crossed, I think the 26,000 word mark. So coming along really well. I mentioned, I think last week that I have this book broken into probably four or five different sections. I'm now officially into section four, which is really exciting. Um, I'm starting to think maybe the format may change up a little bit. Any of you guys that write or create art in general know that usually what you have in mind when you start out with is not always what you end up with when you finish. Um, that's just the beauty of creativity. Things get a little weird sometimes and unexpected surprises occur. So uh, not too much of that right now. It's staying pretty on point with how I kind of had it mapped out in my head, but making really good progress. And I'm excited to get this book finished and out to you guys. And on that note, I am still doing some research and trying to figure out the best way to utilize a new platform and a new technique that I am planning on using to roll out and publish this book that I've never done before in the past, but am really excited to try and see what you guys think as well. Also, I think I have come up with the title for this book. I'd kind of been putting that off for a little bit, uh, but I sat down a couple days ago and started making a bullet point of potential titles, which is what I usually do. And then I'll usually narrow that down to a few that I really like. And then I'll usually send those names out to my Patreon group and also some people that are close to me, like my wife, my mom, some friends, and kind of get them to vote and see which one they like the best. And I'll usually go from there. However, with this go round, I think I have one that really just jumps out to me and is the one that I just genuinely like the best. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to stick with that one, but I'm not quite ready to reveal that yet. I've also started creating a little bit of a digital portfolio of some images that I've been finding that I think could potentially work on the cover for the new book. So I, I will send that over to Jason, my cover designer here, probably in the next week or so, kind of get his feedback, see which ones he thinks will work best. And then one of my favorite parts of the publishing process is sitting down with him at the computer and just watching him work and him and I kind of feeding off of each other and designing what will ultimately be the final cover image for the book. In terms of what I'm reading, I'm actually still reading Bone White by Ronald Malfi. And if you're keeping track at home, I think this is the third week in a row I've been reading this book. It's taken me a long time to get through this one. And it's really not any fault of the books. My focus has just been kind of scattered elsewhere. I haven't been really able to commit as much time to reading for recreation as I would like to. I still really enjoy this story. I still really like the setting and the environment and some of the characters. And I'm curious to see how it's all going to end up. But again, it is taking me a while to get through it. So hopefully next week I will have it finished and I can let you guys know what I think. In terms of what I am watching, I actually didn't watch any television show this week except for one episode of Apple TV Plus's new anthology series called Roar. Um, this was the second episode. It was the one starring Nicole Kidman where she's eating photographs. And this was an actual um, kind of quirky look at dementia and memory loss. And, you know, that I think is a really good way to describe this show and that is just quirky and I will have or add on one caveat about this roar anthology series is that if you're not a fan of open endings or incomplete stories so to speak you probably want to stay away from the show because that is really what this is all about uh, this series seems to be more interested in exploring themes and ideas instead of telling complete stories in the time frame. And to be honest with you, I'm okay with that, but I certainly know it's not for everybody, just like they don't like having open endings at the end of their novels or their short stories. A lot of people really don't like it uh, with what they're watching either. So if you're not a fan of open endings or stories that are really just kind of more exploring themes, definitely don't watch this because I think you're going to be disappointed. And then I did actually watch one movie this week. My wife and I watched The Social Network, which was directed by David Fincher. But more importantly, it was written by Aaron Sorkin, which is exactly why I decided to watch it. 
First of all, I'm a pretty big Aaron Sorkin fan. I love the way he writes dialogue. And I guess my social media apps all know this about me because I was starting to see a lot of clips and posts that were popping up in my feed talking about Aaron Sorkin's dialogue and the way that he writes his scripts. So it just kind of got me thinking and wanting to watch the social network again, because I think that is one of the best examples of Sorkin dialogue to the point that it becomes so fast paced and so just rapid fire that if you don't keep up, it will very quickly leave you behind. I also think a more recent example of great Sorkin dialogue was his film, The Trial of the Chicago 7. That was a really good one as well. And I think that is available to watch on Netflix. Anyway, that is it for this week's update. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you next time.